All right, first off, guys, first thing I'm gonna tell you is this review is gonna be a little different than reviews that I've done in the past. This movie that I watched is completely all over the place, and the only way I'm really going to talk about it is by going all over the place. So the review isn't going to have the same format as my other reviews, so if I go off track, it's because the movie goes off track too, and that's the only way you can review this. But with all that said, let's get started with the review. Acrimony is the new thriller from director Tyler Perry and stars Taraja P. Henson, and is just the most insane thing you'll ever watch in your entire life. This movie this movie has to be one of the most entertaining films I've seen in some time. I was just having such a blast with this movie the whole time, and it was so bad, but I was in for it the whole time. I was interested in this movie the whole running time. This movie was two hours of just insane, batshit, crazy stuff happening. And I loved every minute of it. And I want to see it again and again because this is just the perfect bad movie in my opinion. So what is this madness that I'm talking about about? Well, Acrimony is about Taraja P. Henson's character who has recently been divorced from her ex-husband and she's just lost a case against her ex-husband and she goes to a counselor or a therapist or something and talks to them about how she met her ex-husband and how everything went wrong and after that the movie just gets better and better first off Taraja P. Henson gives a performance that should not be this good. Taraja P. Henson is amazing in this movie. Give her all the Oscars. If she gets a Razzie, I will be so upset because she is so good in this film. She's so good in this crappy, crappy movie. But she gives this Oscar-winning monologue at the very beginning of the film that is... I mean, it's contradictory writing and stuff. It's Tyler Perry writing, but Taraja P. Henson gives such a great performance, and she brings a quality to this writing that just makes his writing seem all the more better. Taraja P. Henson can elevate a Tyler Perry film. <laughs> but anyway, at this point, she just starts telling this story about how they met in college and she's constantly talking about oh yeah he was a sweetheart at that time before he broke my heart and it's just insane her narration just goes throughout the entire film this narration is fantastic especially some of the stuff she says it's just what an insane person would say I feel, or what an insane person would say in a Tyler Perry movie. Tyler Perry's writing is just fantastic and just insane. But anyway, they meet in college and they start going out and he doesn't have a job. Apparently he was in a gang at one point and that is a problem because he can't get a job and so she has to pay for everything and this is something that Taraja P. Henson's character's sisters don't like. They just don't like this guy and hate his guts because he doesn't have any money and eventually Taraja P. Henson's younger self, um, her mother passes away and gives her a bunch of money and a house and these two continue this relationship she starts buying him stuff but he basically just you it's like he uses her or that's what we're meant to believe from her point of view because 
if you watch the movie, Taraja P. Henson is off her rocker and not exactly a narrator that we can trust because we see certain stuff in the movie that her character wouldn't know, and we see that this guy's not a bad guy. Yeah, he's a terrible boyfriend and a terrible husband, but he's not a bad guy. He wants to do the right thing, he just keeps messing up. Every chance he gets, he messes up, and you kind of feel bad for him because he wants to do something good. He's almost like a Thomas Edison type of guy. He has a lot of ambition and he wants to create this power source and he keeps trying to sell it to the company and they won't take it and he spends 18 years of his life not having a job and just trying to get this machine sent to somebody that will take it and he'll get a bunch of money for it and but while this is all happening, Taraja P. Henson and him have some arguments, of course. There is one part in the movie where he does do a horrible thing to her and cheats on her with another girl. And it's at this point that this movie just gets even more crazy. Taraja P. Henson's character rams her car into this guy's makeshift RV home and turns it over and she hits the gas so hard and just she I can't even talk she hits so hard that her ovaries burst and she can no longer have kids and just this movie just is insane and she ends up forgiving him like he he talks her down and they get back together and they eventually get married and all this stuff and he's still spending 18 years trying to get this stuff done and they eventually lose all their money they go into the red really hard but the movie just keeps on going oh also i shouldn't forget to say this that there's younger people playing Taraja P. Henson and her boyfriend, and they look nothing like Taraja P. Henson or the other guy. These don't look like the same people at all. They couldn't get somebody that looked exactly like them. And it's funny because, you know, there's only an 18-year difference in them, and they're both adults in both scenarios, so... There shouldn't be that big of a difference between looks. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm getting off track. So the movie continues and Taraja P. Henson and her boyfriend, well, husband now, they're barely hanging on and her sisters are constantly telling her that he's a horrible person and she needs to get rid of him. And eventually, her husband does get a meeting with some people at this um, patenting place. And they want to buy it from him. They want to buy the machine from him. He doesn't want to sell his machine for money. He wants to still own the rights to the machine. And so he just doesn't go with the job and... This goes on for a while, and eventually he does get to keep everything, and he gets a lot of money from this. He becomes a millionaire, basically overnight, and just, they eventually get divorced, and he starts dating the girl that he cheated on Taraja P. Henson with, and just, yeah... But yet, he still seems to care about Taraja P. Henson. He even gives her money and buys her mom's house back, which they lost. And he's not a bad guy. He's pretty good. He's just shitty at relationships and everything. But 
anyway, all that stuff happens, and this is where stuff starts getting insane. This is the stuff you see in the trailer. Taraja P. Henson goes insane in this movie and starts, like, stalking the girlfriend and her ex-husband and wants money from them. Basically, she wants to kill them. And she goes insane. And it's fantastic because Taraja P. Ensign can play insane like nobody's business. She is fantastic. And eventually, she, like, even pours acid on the girlfriend's dress, her wedding dress, and I'm just wondering, how did she get the acid? And, oh, there's so many questions I have with this movie. I wish I could sit down with Tyler Perry and just ask him so many questions about this movie because there's so many questions. But eventually the movie leads to this final act where it's, taking place on a boat or a yacht and her ex-husband and his now wife are on this boat and Taraja P. Henson comes and shoots him and <laughs> the most hilarious thing in the movie happens after this. I'm just gonna tell you because I've spoiled the whole movie already but what happens is she takes an axe and tries to cut off something, and I don't even know what she cuts. It's so sporadic, and the filmmaking is so horrible at this point that I have no idea what's going on. But eventually, she gets wrapped up in the anchor chain that falls into the ocean or wherever they are and she goes down with it and drowns and even after she drowns her ex-husband the horrible person that she keeps saying he is throughout the entire movie tries to save her this guy's the real hero of this movie taraja p henson is the villain ultimately Oh my gosh, this movie's just insane, and I love I loved every minute of this two-hour movie. Taraja P. Henson's amazing, and Tyler Perry, this is his best film, which isn't saying much, but it is clearly the most entertaining, and it's just... Oh man, I really want to see this again, and you guys should too, because it's a treat to watch. It's just the most batshit insane stuff you'll see in your entire life and it's it's a bad movie but it's a very entertaining movie you can sit down and it's basically a popcorn flick it's just so funny and filled with so many insane moments that you can't help but love it oh man what else is there to talk about oh yeah okay so the movie starts out by saying, okay, so the movie starts out with a title card that says Acrimony, and then it has thesaurus entries across the bottom of it that give you different names for the word Acrimony and what it means. Well, when we get to, it's not until 90 minutes into the movie that we get another title card with something different and then we keep getting these throughout the rest of the movie so I'm wondering are these title cards are these chapters or are these like states of being that she's in because it's really confusing and I don't understand it at all I don't understand this movie in general I just think it's a complete mess Yes, it's bad, but man, it is entertaining with a great performance from Taraja P. Henson. And, oh my gosh, this movie's just fantastic. And I don't know if I can go on with it. I've 
got so many things I want to talk about, but I know I can't get to them all because this video is already too long. But this movie is amazing and fantastic, and I love it. But anyway, with all that said, I give Acrimony a 3 out of 10. Guys, watch this movie. Watch this movie and be entertained for two hours because you will love it. I swear, if you like bad movies, you'll love this movie. You will not be bored through the entire running time because it's that entertaining. And that's insane to me because I don't like these types of movies. But, man, Tyler Perry has basically made his David Fincher film. This is like a David Fincher film if David Fincher was on acid. <sighs> I want to see this movie again. In fact, I want to buy it on Blu-ray. Because that's how much I enjoyed this piece of crap. Well guys, that's all I got to say about this movie. Acrimony's awesome. Go check it out. But anyway guys, with all that said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next review.